Full-size sedans may have been widely popular many years ago, however it doesn't mean they totally fell off from the radar in the automotive industry. The Chevrolet Impala is the brand's well-known full-size sedan and deserves to be put on your shopping list if you desire a pleasant yet capable full-size sedan. So let's go ahead and check out and take a closer look at this 2018 Chevrolet Impala. Sharing the same platform as the Cadillac XTS and being slotted as Chevrolet's full-size sedan, the Impala is nearly 7 inches longer than the smaller Malibu and you'll find it to be a fairly large vehicle. Our 2LZ Premier trim comes loaded with many bells and whistles you would expect from a modern day vehicle with a perforated leather interior, a dual skyscape sunroof and heated seats. New for 2018 are some pretty minor changes but you will find the addition of a rear view camera and keyless start as standard equipment and the 8 inch touchscreen is now standard on base LS trims. This exterior color of the Impala is known as the blue velvet metallic equipped with smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. And you also do have chrome accenting around the door handles as well. And the interior color combination is known as the jet black and light wheat perforated leather interior with piping on the seats and you also do have your power adjustable driver seat with power recline as well as your power lumbar. All right, stepping on inside of the Impala, despite this being four years old on the market now, the Impala's interior design has certainly aged pretty well and you'll still find nice amenities such as chrome accenting around the dashboard and around the knobs and controls as well as stitching too which certainly aids in making this a more tastefully done interior you have push button ignition just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start and what you're hearing there is General Motors very familiar 3.6 liter V6 we do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel Coming to your transmission, six speed automatic here. And you also do have manual shiftability when you put the vehicle into reverse. This will display your rear view monitor with your guidance lines and trajectory too. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights as well as the hazards. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the Impala. And you do have an automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior side mirrors with blind spot detection and LED side turn signal indicators. Also do have 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Coming up front here on the Impala, you'll find high intensity discharged headlights with LED daytime running lights down below. And you also do have LED accents around the bulbs. Powering the Impala is an optional 3.6 liter V6 providing this fairly large sedan with 305 horsepower at 6800 RPM and 264 pound feet of torque at 5200 RPM. While most Impalas will be equipped with the more preferable V6, the vehicle comes standard with a 2.5 liter 4 cylinder that can fill a unit. All powertrains are mated into a 6 speed automatic being front wheel drive. Rear parking sensors with the dual exhaust tips. EPA estimates, like I said, 19 in the city and 28 on the highway. Total vehicle price for our particular Impala, you're looking at $40,555. And for the parts content information from Mexico, you're looking at 21% and US Canadian 54%. And the final assembly point for this vehicle is actually in Canada. And the country of origin for the engine is Mexico and transmission, the United States. 
You have all of your basic power necessities, including your power windows, power mirrors, and your power door locks, memory seat settings for two people, and chrome interior door handles. Interior quality of the Impala, you'll find it to be on par with the rest of the class, and it's fairly competitive against other full-size sedans. And you'll find plenty of soft touch points that abound inside of the cabin, such as on the armrest, mid-door panel, and upper-door panel, and plenty of stitching, which certainly gives it a more high-quality look. And on top of the dashboard, it's all soft touch as well, and everything feels pretty sturdy inside of here for the most part. Now, up here you'll also find your automatic dimming rear view mirror, as well as your OnStar and SOS Safety Connect LED map lighting, it's always nice to see. Your garage home link and your dual Skyscape sunroof controls. And the sunshade is powered, which is pretty nice, very convenient. And then down here you'll also find your wireless charging pad. Coming to the climate controls, we do have dual zone automatic climate control with your adjustable fan speed levels and temperatures. And then we also do have your recycling mode and your front window defroster, rear window defroster, and your different zones. Dual cup holders and heated and ventilated front seats for the driver and the front passenger, three staged, and your traction control off button. Plenty of center console storage in the Impala and it's pretty deep. You'll find two dual USB charging ports and an auxiliary input as well as a 12 volt power outlet. The seats in the Impala are beautifully designed, especially with the brown piping on the sides here. And you'll also find them to be very well supportive, especially with the side bolsters on the lower cushions and thigh support is excellent, especially given that we don't even have adjustable thigh extensions here. And I would certainly take this vehicle on a long road trip. Visibility of the Impala is okay. Um, not a whole lot of glass area on the front windows here. The A-pillars are fairly wide. Seeing all the rear here, it can be a little bit of a challenge due to a high window rear base back there. And then the visibility throughout the rear quarter window can certainly be improved. Not a whole lot of glass area back there. But at least we do have blind spot detection. Coming to the steering wheel design in the Impala here, it features a pretty unique steering wheel when you compare it to other General Motors vehicles. You won't find the same steering wheel like how you'll find in the Cruze and the Malibu. Nevertheless though, the controls are very well laid out here and it does power tilt and telescope. We also do have your adaptive cruise control buttons and then your heated steering wheel and then you also do have your controls for the driver information display in the center right there as well as your Bluetooth phone controls and your voice recognition. Over here you'll find your electronic parking brake, a little coin pouch, and your gauge cluster brightness, as well as your trunk release parking sensors button and your lane departure alert button. The Impala also offers many high-end safety technologies such as the adaptive cruise control, the lane departure alert, and the blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert, and a forward collision alert system. Let's get to the infotainment system and the main head unit. This is the Chevrolet MyLink system, and this is a color touchscreen display. It does feature 4G LTE Wi-Fi through OnStar. And in the upper left-hand corner, you do have your exterior temperature readout, and the upper right-hand corner, your digital clock. All of your different audio sources are here, including AM, FM, and XM satellite radio. And you also do have a direct tune feature, which is very convenient if you don't want to tune through all the different radio stations. Your external media devices do include your USB port with iPod integration and your auxiliary input and Bluetooth streaming audio. We do have your phone, which you can hook up multiple Bluetooth devices onto the system. You can view recent calls. You have an integrated dial pad as well. And then your projection feature for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, you have to have your USB cord connected to your smartphone. And then your navigation system, which you can pinch to zoom in and out and you can also swipe within the map and you do have 3D rendering of buildings and you can enter in your destination by voice if you would like. Press this button and this reveals a little storage cubby and a USB charging port if you want to impress your friends. And then your settings which you can change many different settings on the system such as time and date, language, you have a valet mode and then your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, vehicle settings like the climate and air quality, lighting, your collision and detection systems, and then power door locks, all that good stuff. And then your weather, which will give you an hourly forecast or a five-day forecast. You can also change the location if you would like. And then you have your SMS text messaging function through your phone. 
course you have to have your phone connected onto the system and then you have your OnStar as well as your live traffic which will show you a traffic incident list in your nearby local area and then you have your shop where you can download apps onto the system but overall you'll find that the Chevrolet MyLink system is fairly intuitive and user friendly it's getting a little on the dated side they certainly need to update it but overall it's still a pretty good system very traditional looking setup from General Motors here. On the right you'll find your speedometer and on the top your fuel gauge coolant temperature and on the left your tachometer. And you do have your information display in the center which is a 4.2 inch screen. And you'll find options where you could change the info pages such as what you want displayed on the screen like the oil life percentage or the tire pressure monitoring system. And you could change the units from US to metric. You could set a speed warning if you would like. And then your navigation will show you turn by turn directions. And then your phone. And then your audio over here where you could change your audio sources. As well as your information such as your trip information, fuel range, instant fuel economy, oil life percentage, tire pressure monitoring, average speed, coolant temperature, and your digital speedometer. The Impala drives like many people would expect out of a domestic full-size sedan. The ride is cushy but isn't overbearingly soft and the 3.6 liter V6 pulls this vehicle around with ease. The Impala drives like many people would expect out of a drum point and a slightly vague and understeel is noticeable. However, if you desire a vehicle with better handling characteristics, the Nissan Maxima should definitely be considered. Ultimately, if you desire a smooth riding and reasonably powerful full-size sedan, the Impala will certainly not disappoint. Interior quality does follow through in the rear, still plenty of soft touch panels on the mid door panel, armrest and upper door panel here. And you'll find rear adjustable headrests for the outboard positions and you do have your rear center armrest with cup holders. Sitting back here in the Impala, plenty of leg room, decent amount of headroom too. And you'll find dual map pockets, rear air vents as well as a 120 volt power outlet back here and a 12 volt power outlet right there. The seats themselves are pretty comfortable and they offer a pretty good amount of thigh support. All right. Plenty of trunk space in the Impala as well. And you have your spare tire, which is always nice to see, and your emergency trunk release. So with this capable optional V6 engine, it's smooth ride quality and plenty of standard and optional features, the 2018 Chevrolet Impala makes for a pretty good choice for a full size sedan for 2018. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.